Hey everybody, Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a really quick stamp and show and tell for you today. As many of you know, I really like to play with sketches um, from other people's blogs. This one is from a freshly made sketches challenge um, from a few weeks back. This is number 481. I will put the link to their um, challenge in my blog post and the blog post will be attached to this video so you can go and see the original post. I didn't play with it in the time that it was up and running but I did want to create with it and I'm going to do a super simple card for you. So as you can see it's a really basic layout. It's got nine um, circles which I have die cut from the new um, Beauty of the Earth designer series paper. I have been working with this bundle uh, to make various cards and this is um, scrap from some swap cards I made. And so I thought, you know what, that's that's kind of pretty paper and images, so let me see if I can make another card out of it. And then I thought of this sketch that I had on my um, play with list. So I have a piece of Bumblebee uh, cardstock, which I've gone ahead and embossed with the Tasteful Textures embossing folder. So it's just got a real light embossed um, uh, feeling to it on the front. Okay, not anything too distinct, just very subtle. Then I'm going to go ahead and stamp with um, the sentiment from Happy Thoughts stamp set. This is in the spring catalog, so it's going to be retiring, I believe, at the um, end of June. That's when the spring catalog ends. The annual one re uh, retired May 4th. Start with, new one started May 4th, and the spring one goes until the end of June. So I'm going to be stamping with Garden Green, just for a little bit of contrast, with this sentiment from the set. So I'm going to put this on first, because it's going to go at the bottom. That's good, okay. So at the bottom, and I need to be firm because I am stamping on a textured piece of cardstock now. But I'm going to be really careful and try not to rock it, because I don't want any edges of my image. Perfect. Okay, I could have put that up on another piece of cardstock, but I wanted to keep the card super simple and kind of one layer, um, with the exception of all these little spots. Now, the spots, I could glue them right down. Let me show you how I'm going to lay them out. So I've got nine circles that I've cut with my layering circle dies, and I'm going to just build my grid here of my circles. Now when I cut them, I kind of strategically cut them so that I would have three that ha would have tree trunks and then I would have six that would just have the leaves of the trees. So kind of building from the bottom up. So that's kind of the idea. Now I think I think I am just going to put those on with liquid glue. I'm not going to put them on with dimensionals. So I'm going to start um, right here in the center. So I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of that one. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit lower because I want some yellow all the way around. So I'm just going to put that one on. And I'm going to work straight up the middle. So I'm going to build my spacing off the center. So just a little bit of a gap between those two circles. Let that color come through and right up the center. Now from the center I can work to my right and my left. So I'm going to go this way. And see how quick this is? So how many of you have probably mountains of scrap paper? If you're like me, you won't get rid of an inch of designer series paper. And these really only took about an inch. So if you have some really pretty scrap, you could certainly cut yourself out um, whether it's with a die or a punch, uh, circles about one inch in diameter. Now I'll split over a little, put it back here where it belongs. About one inch in diameter, and build a whole bunch of these with coordinating cardstock. Um, you could even wait to put your sentiment on if you left yourself enough gap, or add the sentiment later with the tag. If you want to dress it up a little bit, you could always add ribbon. You could always add embellishments like uh, epoxy dots or dimensionals. Uh, various sparkles, right? We all have our various sparkles. And so you can see I'm just going up and out with my spots here. I 
and one more to go. So, and there I go. I've got a quick and simple card. So, one layer of cardstock, nine die cut circles from scrap, right? A stamp set and some ink. I did emboss it with the big shot just to dress it up a little bit, but really, pretty simple. So, I hope you enjoyed the show and tell today. Remember, if you want any goodies from the spring catalog, get them before the end of June and um, do some fun, simple stamping today. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye-bye.